Speaker's Corner, the freest of all free speech zones. Anyone can go there and defend any position, criticize any position, mock any position. And if you don't like what a speaker has to say, you are free to walk away and not listen. Speaker's Corner, a beacon of free speech in a world of oppressed voices. Speaker's Corner, the international hub of... Uh, who am I kidding? That place is Sharia Central. Last month, I posted a video titled, Speaker's Corner is now Sharia Corner, after a mob of heckle jihadis convinced British police to forcibly remove Hatun Tash for criticizing Muhammad and the Quran. Earlier today, Hatun was having a peaceful discussion with a Muslim about the supposed magical powers of the word Inshallah. When the heckle jihadi started interrupting the discussion and calling her names, Hatun held up her holy Quran and a cartoon titled Cry Baby Muhammad. It's Muhammad portrayed as a baby who can't take criticism. That's when one of the heckle jihadis decided to prove Hatun right by hitting her in the face. Can you please tell me about the whole the narrative? Calling me names okay. is not helping you. Be kind and then explain okay. why there are holes in the narrative. I am not Allah. Allah is Satan. Do I look like Allah? Do I look like Muhammad? No. Why are you, why are you so upset? Maybe your dad looks like that. I don't know. Be honest. If my, if my father is Muhammad, have respect to the dog. Islam, the religion of peace. Islam, show Muhammad respect or your face will get wrecked. Islam, make fun of its book and you'll catch a right hook. Islam, if you draw a cartoon, you'll get clocked by a goon. Islam, respect it or else. Footage of the attack on Hatun has been circulating all day, so people are commenting, Hatun deserves everything she gets due to her hatred and vile remarks about Islam and Muslims. Not all Christians are like her in the park. Peace, family. I don't feel sorry for Hatun. She got the censor knocked out. Job well done. Next one, please. AP or David Pakaikopath Wood. God bless that hand. Lol, good one. Did she think that she'd get off easily after what she did, even though she knew it was like a serious offense to Muslims? I'm sorry, but she was looking for it. What a good brother, subhanAllah. Excellent news. Job well done. Of course, there are plenty of Muslims who condemn the attack. They say, oh, it's never right to hit a woman. Muhammad would never do something like that. These are, of course, the Muslims who have never spent five seconds studying what their prophet actually said and did. We know that Muhammad allowed his followers to beat their wives. He even let his followers beat their wives until their skin turned green. If you're allowed, as a Muslim man, to beat your own wife until her skin turns green, what do you think you can do to a non-Muslim woman who's making fun of your crybaby prophet? We don't have to wonder, because we know that when women and girls made fun of Muhammad, he ordered his followers to kill them. If you don't believe me, just spend 10 minutes reading Muslim accounts of the conquest of Mecca. So, the real takeaway here is this. As despicable as that heckle jihadi is for hitting a Christian woman because she showed him a picture of crybaby Muhammad, the heckle jihadi is a much, much better man than Muhammad because Muhammad would have ordered his followers to brutally murder Hatun for making fun of him. So, we can look at the bright side in all of this, namely that even violent Muslims tend to live far, far better lives than their prophet because they've been influenced by so many people who are far, far better than their prophet. There's another bright side here as well. As soon as that heckled jihadi hit Hatun, I get an idea for my next project on my art channel. If you doubt my ability to turn this Quran into a beautiful beer holder dedicated to the heckle jihadi who hit Hatun, 
Prepare for shock and awe. There's a link to the full video of the attack on Hatun in the description box. Check out the video and be sure to subscribe to Hatun's channel.